Let's say you want to study abroad for free in 2025. What are your options? US uh, gives you that option, but not at the time of the admit. So yes, you can get uh, even up to 100% funding to study masters in US like I did. But uh, most likely you will get that funding after reaching there. So if you want to study absolutely for free and not even have to worry about taking an education loan, then UK is your best option because it is English speaking nation and scholarships are available which give you full funding with your admit itself and so this is one video that i do every year that is covering the most uh, popular scholarships that uk offers that the audience on this ch channel should try so even if you're applying to us i think if you want to give it a shot you can apply to a couple of universities in uk and try for these scholarships as well this can reduce your financial burden i am not going to talk about job situation economy or any other thing uh, in the uk but yes one thing where it beats us is hands down the availability of scholarships Today I'm going to talk about more than 10 popular scholarships which you can try for UK. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Nishta from Scholar Strategy and today I'm going to tell you about 11 scholarships in UK that are highly, highly relevant for you and do give it a shot because they can make you study for free. And I'm going to first start with British Council scholarships because there are many of them that Indians can apply to. And I'm going to start with the first one is Great Scholarship. This is available in wide variety of courses including engineering, natural sciences, law, environmental studies, etc. Deadline all varies by university program, but typically between March to June. Um, applicants must be citizens of a developing nation. This includes India. And you have to be accepted to a participating master's program at a UK university. Funding for this is roughly £10,000, which, which goes towards your tuition fee. Uh, one of the restriction here is that obviously you have to be accepted by a participating university program and to even apply you have to go to the great scholarship page for example imperial college has this page um, for great scholarship so you have to apply via that page and if you're accepted for it then you can get this ten thousand pound awards next scholarship by british council is women in stem scholarships this is specifically designed for women uh, to pursue master's degrees but in STEM fields only and I know one of our clients um, did this to study at University of Southampton for absolutely for free so yet it yes it works uh, the, the, the deadline would be around February to April uh, of next year uh, if you're applying for fall 2025 and this is open only to women uh, applying for a master's in STEM field. It covers full tuition, monthly stipend, travel, visa, health coverage, abs absolutely everything. You don't have to spend a dime. Uh, the major restriction here is that you must have an undergraduate degree in a STEM subject and they also encourage experienced professionals to apply. And this is available at 19 participating UK universities. This includes Imperial College, Warwick, York, Edinburgh, etc. Now I'm going to talk about other UK government funded scholarships and the third one here is Chevening Scholarship. Deadline is app, the application itself opens in September and closes on 5th of November 2024. Then interview invites will go out in February 2025. Final results will be announced in June. You have to submit your university acceptance in July. So I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but UK scholarships do work differently, which means that you have to apply for these scholarships separately and you have to individually apply to the universities that you want to study at. And if you happen to win the scholarship, you have to submit the acceptance letter by a UK university and they will uh, transfer your scholarship amount to the tuition fee in that university. Okay, back to Chevening scholarship. Applicants must be citizens of a developing country and have at least two years of work experience. So that is the major drawback here. Freshers cannot apply. Uh, this is also a very generous scholarship. It's fully funded. It includes tuition fee, living expenses and even your return airfare. 
now as i told you one of the downside is that freshers cannot apply another downside is that you have to return to your country of citizenship for a minimum of 2 years after your award has ended that means you can't continue working in uk after studying on a shevning scholarship and the popular universities that shevning scholars often choose include university of oxford cambridge london school of economics imperial college KCL University of Edinburgh etc number 4 we have commonwealth scholarship which are offered under the 6 CSC development themes and you have to write a development impact statement in your application these themes are around using tech for development health systems global peace security and governance etc there are a bunch of scholarships here that you can apply to for example masters full time or long distance scheme phd scholarships etc so you will have to check out the ones which are relevant for you applications will typically close in december 2024 for 2025 intake yes it varies according to the scholarship uh, some are as early as 18th october so do check it out this is again open to student from commonwealth countries this includes india and you have to be pursuing a masters in a development related field funding amount it covers full tuition fee round trip air fare also it gives you a monthly stipend of around 1300 to 1650 pounds which is 1.6 lakh per month gives you study travel grants visa fee additional financial support for disabled applicants so again a very generous application but the major restriction here is that it focuses on students who demonstrate potential to contribute to development in their home country at number 5 i will talk about felix scholarship this was founded to offer gifted underprivileged students from india and certain other countries the opportunity of furthering their postgraduate education in uk and this is only eligible for people going to university of oxford university of reading and the school of oriental and african studies which is source at university of london a uh, deadline is somewhere around january applicants must hail from india or any other participating developing country have a 3.5 plus gpa and also you have to demonstrate a financial need so this is a need based scholarship it covers all your cost and pays you a maintenance grant which is enough to cover your expenses at a university like oxford so this can i think come to around 18000 pounds they all they also include a one return flight from india or your home country to the uk uh, process is simple applicants can apply to this scholarship only at one of the three eligible institutions all courses except medicine are con- covered and interviews happen in delhi and bangalore as well so process varies for all the three universities so you will have to check it out By the way I will try leaving all the links in the uh, description box below so you can save and come back to these. At number 6 I will now cover more university specific scholarships. For example, we have Gates Cambridge scholarship which offers 80 full cost scholarships to exceptional international candidates at the University of Cambridge. Uh, deadline would be either in December or January depending on your course. applicants must be admitted to a full time masters program at cambridge it covers all your cost as well as pay a maintenance allowance for a single student this means that the total award can go up to 30000 to 60000 pounds for 12 months so very very generous scholarship and the process you have to write a 500 words essay resume you have to provide two references Uh, so it's obviously it's very very competitive and downside is it is not eligible for MBA MS in finance or any other business degree at number 7 i want to talk about oxford pershing square scholarships now oxford 1 plus 1 mba is a truly unique experience it allows you to combine a masters degree from oxford with a one year oxford mba Uh, so if you're heading to that program then you can apply for these scholarships the deadline is in january you must be admitted to the 1 plus 1 mba program and only six students will get this award it is again fully funded including the tuition fee for both mba and masters program so and it gives you handsome living expenses uh, of around 19000 pounds per year 
process is that you have to submit a complete application for both the courses, upload the scholarship essay in the funding section and obviously be accepted by it. At number eight, we have Imperial College London scholarships. They have a lot of uh, scholarships for different different programs uh, but generally it requires an excellent academic record and admission to a master's program at imperial college funding again will vary by the scholarship and program but it can include full or partial funding for tuition fee living expenses as well as travel cost so if you're interested in attending imperial college do check this out at number nine i have another scholarship at oxford this one is oxford clarendon scholarship it gives out 140 full cost scholarship to exceptional international candidates to pursue a full time postgraduate degree at Oxford. Deadline is December or January depending on the course. It covers all your cost and pays a maintenance allowance for a single student. This is again up to I think 18,000 pounds. Process is that you need to have a very excellent academic record almost like more than 3.7 GPA plus research proposal if applicable to your course as well as academic references. Since you're automatically considered for this scholarship when you secure admission to a graduate course at Oxford, you don't have to apply anything separately. For applying to a course at Oxford, you have to follow their uh, normal official website instructions. At number 10, we have Rhodes Scholarship at again at Oxford and uh, this is closed already for this year. This is one of those scholarships which has a really, really early deadline in August. So for fall 2025, the deadline is already closed on August 2024. If you're happening to target 2026 or later, then yes, do keep a track of their deadline next year. The applicants must be citizens of a select group of countries. This includes India and have an outstanding academic record, which includes a GPA more than 3.7. It's a highly competitive, highly prestigious scholarship, and uh, it's a fully funded uh, program which covers everything, tuition fee, living expenses, travel cost. Um, plus it provides a like you know handsome annual stipend the stipend was around 19,000 pounds per year for for last year yes you live uh, study everything for free if you win this scholarship and uh, at number 11 I'm going to talk about Erasmus Mundus scholarship which are one of the most popular scholarship to study in Europe in general this is not a UK scholarship this is more of a Europe scholarship but this scholarship is specific to the consortium of universities which offer the Erasmus Mundus program there are only certain universities in UK which offer this and they include University of Edinburgh Glasgow Manchester and Leeds uh, under this, you will study at multiple institutions as outlined in the program, which often includes at least two different countries. And I think you need to apply with a TOEFL or IELTS score here. The deadline would be sometime around in December 31st. It pays you a monthly stipend worth 1500 pounds plus 100% tuition waiver, plus travel allowance, plus airfare for traveling to Europe and even getting work visa in your desired country. So it's a very, very popular, prestigious uh, scholarship. And if you look at it, only three candidates are selected from each country and 22 in total. So yes, very competitive. Students must enroll in a joint program offered by these consortium of universities. This will usually include at least two institutions located in different countries. So it means you might have to study at the participating university in UK as well as one other university. So do, do check it out if this option is even available in your target program or not. But I just wanted to mention it because usually we don't associate Erasmus Mundus with UK but uh, you can i think in certain cases so those were 11 highly popular options for uk scholarships if you win any of these then you can potentially study for free in uk what happens after that does it make sense with your career goal overall that is something you need to figure out but yes if you if if you're cost conscious then definitely worth checking out uh, but still if you are still considering us then don't forget to check out our funding masterclass where i have told you strategies and tips how you can study for a minimal cost or even up to 100% uh, fully funded masters in US uh, in my funding masterclass. I will leave the link below. So hope this was helpful. What 
other kind of videos do you want to see from us this year do let me know in the comments as always take care i will see you guys next week with a fresh new video until then take care